VIP bottles all on my table My niggas with me, we sipping up I got bad chicks and they able These fools ain't how to cool as us And this thy ends all on Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Your boy Chon Kills bringing guys a brand new video And today guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my speed art thumbnails And so yeah this is something that I've actually seen somebody request So I'm going to be doing that So all you gotta do, the way I, all the way I do it I guess I should say Is go over to my photos of where I have my, uh my Photoshop edits, like all my banners and stuff, and then I just go over to which one. Let's say we do, let's do the the Mario one. Let's just do a Mario one. So right here we already have it in the way I kind of usually keep them as like one piece. So right here we'll just grab this, drag it over, and we'll go over to here. Oop. All right. Now as you guys can tell, this is oddly bigger than it needs to be. So I'm going to shrink this down. Not maybe not obviously not that small, but. Uh, Let's make it about. Let's just make it about the length of this. About the same, about the same size. Run that. Boom. Click apply. All right. Now I'm gonna press Control T. And the way I usually do this is I'll turn him into like a light slant right here, and I'll drag him like a little bit more. Let's go like. We can go this way. I guess we can do it this way for this time. I'll go about right about here. Let's put it right there. Then I'll control. Oh, actually, you gotta click this real quick to apply transformation. Control J, Control J. So I have multiple copies of this. And then I'll bring one down here. Alright. Actually, let's just make one in the middle real quick so I know what I got for space. Oh. What is this? Okay. Then I'm gonna bring this out. Bring this about. Alright. Let's bring that about there. There, then I'm just gonna turn this a little bit more. Right about there. I like where that's at. Okay, and then click apply. Go to my other copy. Drag that below. As you guys can tell, I kind of keep this like light black gap in between it. I'm gonna control J this one more time. Put one right there so there's always a piece control J one more time oh. go over to the top one control J oh I have a, what are my bucket or my masking tool out all right control Z because obviously I clicked on the wrong one I went to control J that make another copy of it put it right there all right so what we're gonna do is keep this one as our main piece but we're going to make all these other ones a little different so right here, I'm going to keep that right there. I'm going to go to layer, layer style, or is it at, should be black, oh never mind, new, is it a new adjustment, new adjustment layer, there we go. Then I go to black and white, I click OK, and then I just got to, actually, oop, I wasn't clicked on one of the, I didn't click on one of my things I wanted under as, wonder only, only under as that image, adjustments, black and white. Click cancel because that's not the right one that I wanted on the kid. Right there, that one. Image adjustments. Black and white. Okay. Now that's like that. I'm going to turn down the opacity though. So I have like that grayer shade. And then we'll go right here. Image adjustments. Black and white. Okay, and I'm gonna give it like that so it kind of looks like it fades out until it gets brighter or like maybe drop the opacity down just a little bit. So it kind of gives like, I want to like to have a like, kind of like a reflective look in a sense. And this one, I'm just going to turn down the opacity in general, just like, like that or so. So like it still looks like it's there, right? But it's not exactly the same. And I like this because it gives that like light reflective look. Like let's keep this at like a 53 and let's or, let's, or 58. Let's leave this down to like a 43. So then like it kind of makes this main piece pop out more than the others, which I do like. And then usually for this part, I'll go with text up along right here. So I'll do speed, oh, speed art. I don't know, like epis. Let's go speed art right there. This is one word. Control T. Then I just line this up right, like parallel kind of to this. So I gotta adjust this still. 
little bit more. There we go. Right there, I'll just click control apply, and then I'll go right here to file open. Then I use I had this uh layer style pack I got from I believe if I'm not mistaken, Nelson Designs is where I got it from. It's 6K uh, layer style pack. You can actually get it in his own. So you can go over to his channel and check him out. His YouTube channel is literally Nelson Design. So then I'll just right click, paste layer style. So speed art's right here. Bam, as one part. And then I'm going to do with a different color. Let's let's check our main color. So our main color is probably like... Well, this is really colorful. So I'm going to do what I think I probably would do. Probably like a blue... Let's go with a blue. So I'll just turn this off, turn that back on. Let's go with blue too. I like blue too's popular style. Alright, so I have it when I go over here. Right here, right click this episode. Three. Mario. Oh. Control T. Oh, I press Shift T. Alright, I mean, yeah, Shift T. What am I saying? I press control to my back. Oh, right here, right click. Paste layer style. Control T. And then I'm going to shrink this down. Oh, not like that. Control Z to go back. What am I, what is this thing doing? I'm trying to go by the corner. Control Z, control, control Alt Z to go back more. If you want to, you can always do undo, which I'm going to just act like I never had this. Don't apply. I'm actually going to edit the text. I don't like this Mario with like the swishes right here, so I'm just going to leave this out right there. It's just, oh, Mario, go over one. I click out. I'm just going to put a dash right here so it's Mario, so you guys know who Mario obviously is. Control T. Let's actually shrink this first. Not there. Now I'll put that right here. Alright, then I'm going to click apply. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to click apply. Double click. Stroke. I'm going to turn the stroke up to 9 because that's what this one's at right here. This is at a stroke of a 9. Um, I might actually change the colors of the stroke sometimes. I might just put it as like a white stroke. Or I might have it as like a red stroke. But honestly, blue, this blue does not look good with red, so we can always just like mess around with this and like try to find something we like. But I personally just like going with the basic white. I think the basic white or black just looks really good. And then I usually flip these inside out since this is black and this is white and this has to go black too. Or I'll just keep them opposites depending on how I like it. But I want to see, well obviously I can't put actually a white one on that, so I might have to just do a blue. Let's go right there. I could just do it like that and flip inside out so like you know what I mean it's opposite colors I mean that doesn't look so bad but it could be better I just this is the basic way I'll do it and then I'll just put like everything else like right here for this one where's that right here I'll put a filter blur Gaussian blur then I'll put okay actually control Z that that's really bad that's a really strong blur let's turn that down Turn that about a 3.3. It's probably pretty good. And then for the bottom one, let's turn. The, oh, that's the top one. For the bottom part, let's do like another blur, but let's do a lighter Gaussian blur. Let's do a Gaussian blur about a like a 0.5. And then we're gonna right click, select all, control. I believe to merge all these together and then we're gonna go control J E or not is it control J E no, it's control. I think it's I don't think it's is it E yeah it is it, it's E I don't know what I was thinking I was thinking something else then we're gonna go to, actually we're gonna duplicate layer real quick for the Mario copy filter, filter gallery. I keep this always on stylus edging glow. Drop the opacity, that's all you gotta do to make this look good. But it keeps this popping out. Right about. It. There. Control Shift E, Control J. 
Oh, control J. Come on. Oh. There we go. I don't know why I was taking so long for that to hit right. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to click liquefy. Cancel. Filter, then I'll go to Topa's Labs or Magic Bullet, which I'm usually going to use Magic Bullet most of the time. Go over to here. I usually like certain ones. Certain ones look alright. Like, that doesn't look... Actually, let's try that out real quick. Do -do 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 -do. See, I think this looks real good. I think it just makes everything pop out like a lot more. I don't know. You guys can decide how you guys like yours, but this is honestly the way I usually just make my speed art banner just clicking like this. They look all right sometimes, and then like I usually just do right here, open, open up here, go to new YouTube. Where's my logo? Killer's logo right here. Boop. Right there, up in the corner, and pow. Looks done. That's the final product, guys. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep your boys on kills. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.